What day is it, Brucey? Brucey, what day is it? What day is it, Brucey? It's new Lego day. Uh, March the 1st, 2024, Lego Group releasing 50 new sets. And I've never been to the Lego, since I've been collecting, I've never been to the Lego store on release day. And so I'm gonna go over there early. I gotta go down to Tampa. I'm gonna try to get there early to see if people line up for this. But uh, yeah, a new Lego day. What will we get? All right, here we go, 9.20 a.m. Brandon Town Center Mall. Uh, Lego stores just beyond the doors here. Of course, the big set coming out, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Uh, we also have all these new miniature Star Wars ships. All right, that was pretty cool. That was the first time I'd ever gone to the Lego store on release day. And, you know, it's one of those things, like it's exciting to have the sets right away. But for me, I like to collect sets and then sometimes I build sets, sometimes I don't. So having them on release day, it's not that important, but there are a couple sets that I do want to build right away. It was just a fun adventure. A nice little break from everything going on in my life and uh, yeah so it was cool it was nice to get out I'm supposed to be you know getting some steps so it was cool to take a little bit of a walk about but uh, let me show you the Lego haul all right up first is the new Millennium Falcon these are like kind of mid-size ship builds they make really big versions of these ships this signifies a new release for Lego where they're going to be releasing a lot of these Star Wars ships in this scale. So we have the Millennium Falcon, we also have the Tantive Four, and we have the Invisible Hand as part of this release. Now this isn't the first time that they've released this scale. They used to call it MIDI scale or mid, yeah, mid scale. They, they've changed that marketing. That was a few years ago, so this is kind of a new release, but it did kind of start last year with an 18 plus set. I didn't have it, so I picked that up also today. And that's the Executor Superstar Destroyer. Another new Star Wars release today for the Lego group celebrating the 25 years of Lego Star Wars is a scaled down R2-D2. This is uh, kind of another mid-scale type build. I don't have an R2-D2 at all, so this was a good place to jump in on that one. I did also grab the new Snow White set, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. What a cool build this is. I think this is gonna be a super popular set. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna build this or just keep it to collect it, but uh, this is really nice looking. A look on the back. Very cool set. Now the set that I'm probably gonna build, I'll show you that last, but let me show you the gift with purchase. Uh, when you collect Lego, if you spend a certain amount of money, they're gonna give you a gift with purchase. And this is the flower shop in micro scale. Pretty cool little set. And this three in one set is the set I was really most excited about. In this kit, you can build one of three models. You can build the fox, you can build the owl, or you can build the squirrel. Of course, you could get multiples of this set and build all three, but uh, I've had a, a, we've been dealing with birds for a bit now. I really like the way that this owl looks. Uh, which one of these three models would you build out of this kit if you were only going to build one? Because that's what I'm faced with right now. Right now, I'm kind of leaning toward the owl, but uh, I don't know. There you go, there's my March the 1st, 2024 Lego haul. Still a lot of sets out there to explore, but I was really excited to get those new Star Wars ships, the R2-D2, the Snow White, super cool set. And uh, of course the three in one. Uh, yeah, which set caught your eye? If you could only choose one set out of this haul, which one would it be? Leave a comment below. Thank you so much for checking out the videos. Uh, subscribe for more. This is Tony and I will, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. What day is it?